I have a new addition to my harp collection. Marini Made Harp sent me a 28 bass lap harp. Yay! Tear it open. <laughs> Yo, look at that, eh? Cheapest. The unique thing about this harp is that it has four extra bass strings and a big sound box, which is unusual for a lap harp. The harp was delivered at my house and I was a bit surprised because I wasn't expecting it to come that day. The best kind of surprise. It's like fragile handle with key, upside down. <laughs> so I'm gonna need a knife. My cameraman Angus lent me his Leatherman pocket knife and I always feel like I'm a bit dangerous when I use a knife to open a box. Oh, which one's the knife? I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm like aware that my fingers aren't replaceable. <laughs> Yay! Uh -huh. It always feels like a big moment lifting a half out. Mm. I started out opening it really carefully, but it was so well packed with so many layers that at some point I just started ripping open the plastic to get to the half. I feel like some people are like for sure the type of person who wants to carefully open it and other people just always rip it open and I could go either way. <laughs> okay, yeah, very nice bag. Uh huh, beautiful. Ooh, that's very nice padding here. Sometimes the, the part where the, um, Zip goes can be a little bit of a weak point in the padding, but this is really nice thick padding. Yo, look at this beautiful wood. The first thing I noticed was the amazing wood and how beautifully it was carved and finished. Marini made harps have such a high level of craftsmanship, you can just feel that someone put a lot of time into making this harp. Look at that. Wow, it's got its strap on already. That's convenient. Wow. That is a beautiful instrument. Wow. Nice to see this curve at the back here. Yeah? Oh, that is really nice. Mm. That's a lovely touch. At first impression, it had a lovely sound, but as always, it definitely needed to be tuned. It's always a thing where you want to hear the sound of the harp, but also you have to try and kind of like cancel out all the out of tuneness. I can still hear that it has a very nice warm sound sounds lovely but let's tune it then we can really hear a bit better <laughs> there we go tuning key after tuning i immediately enjoyed the warm and full sound of the harp and it was so lovely to hear the bass notes resonating with the large sound box now let's see Hear that it has enough of a sound box to really carry that low air. Oh, yay, I see the pickups. That's nice. Okay, so I have a strap. Now I have to try and remember what it was they said about where the strap should go. I think it was like that. I tested out playing the harp with the strap, and considering that this is a large lap harp, it's really surprising how comfortable it is to play with the strap on. It's so secure that it doesn't feel heavy. It's like it's a part of me. Because it has this wider soundboard, it's like I can move around without being worried that the harp is going to flop over. Oh, these, these levers move really nicely. stand some good force and give a good big sound. But it also doesn't feel hard work, which is nice. Should we try the stand? Yeah, it's lovely. Then I wanted to try the stand. That meant another box, and I decided that I am not skilled at opening boxes. I definitely need more practice. <laughs> Maybe I need to practice with some Less important parcels. <laughs> we, can, we can tape up some boxes for you. <laughs> okay. Another, Another box. box. <laughs> I seem to be improving with practice. Your practice is paying off. <laughs> but normally the things you practice, if you get it wrong, you won't like cut your finger off. Wow, look at all this. Those are huge bubbles. 
Oh! oh! <laughs> this is gonna be the best! So You're satisfying. welcome to keep the bubble wrap. <laughs> it's the debris of boxes when a harp comes. Yeah. For most of my harp journey, it wasn't something I could get used to. <laughs> you know? Very thankful. Ooh, it's so satiny. They've given me some kind of satiny cover. That's exciting. Interested to see what that's all about. Starting to feel a little bit wild. The stand came in a satin pillowcase, which I was pleased about because I could use it either to protect the wood when transporting the stand or put it on my pillow and protect my curls overnight. Take note. To open legs, twist wooden knobs in opposite directions to loosen. Okay, so twist these in opposite directions. Oh, there we go. That goes nicely. And tighten. There we go. That means that this needs to go to the right and then in there. Ha! Huh, easy. But it's very nice and stable. It sounds so nice and resonant with the stand. The instructions to open the stand were really clear, but when it told me how to position the strap of the harp, I misinterpreted the direction, which confused me for a little while. But once it was all in place, the harp felt nice and stable on the stand. So we put the strap out to what I would have thought is the left side, but it's the right if you're facing the other way. And now it feels much more secure. One thing I really enjoy about a wooden stand is that it really seems to extend the sound of the harp. It makes it feel like a floor harp. The harp on the stand was a little bit low for me on this height of chair, and it's not height adjustable, but I'm fairly tall and this would suit shorter people. Otherwise, I really love this stand. really really beautiful. I'm excited to get to know this harp a little bit more. I brought my husband Johnny in to show him the harp. I was interested to see what he would say because Johnny has a very good ear and really appreciates good craftsmanship. It's, it's quite a full sound here. Eh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's very well made and that stand is pretty legit. Eh? But one thing I'm noticing straight away is that like this full bodied sound you're, uh, you're sounding like you're quite getting quite knowledgeable of harps. Yeah, yeah. well, well, I mean, I mean, I got to go to the like Marini harp factory. I mean, like they make everything by hand workshop? with workshop with a lot of care. So like, there's a lot of effort put into all the harps. So you can really see it if you look closely. This they've got a it's got a real special sound. Yeah. It's really nice. So eh? yeah, I'm I'm pretty amazed at how full the sound is. Like really. Yeah. And look how beautiful the woodwork oh, is. Oh, it's beautiful. Like, Angus was doing a very professional check on it where he's like, yo, you can't even yeah. feel where the joints are. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at that, eh? Cheapest. I've spent a bit more time playing the harp since then and it's been such a joy. I usually keep my bigger harps at work because I don't have a lot of space at home, so it's been amazing being able to have a smaller harp that still has some bass strings and a full sound. I found that the height of the harp stand is perfect for when I'm perching on the edge of the couch at home, not a position I recommend when you're learning to play the harp or doing serious practicing, but for casual moments playing for fun, it's been really great. This is, this is the premium bubble wrap stuff. <laughs> oh, you're not heavy enough. No. Oh. Would you like to hear me doing a comparison video of this harp versus some other lap harps? When I've made that video, I'll pop the link here. See you there.